What's up, Internet? Welcome to The Den. I'm your Tuesday Cub, Will, and if you don't know, now you know. I'd say that last word, but I don't want to get my ass beat. This week we are talking about our coming out stories, and man, oh man, am I excited for this week. Uh, but before I begin to tell you my story, I went around and got some footage of my friends and asked them what their first reaction was to when I came out to them. And this is what they had to say. So Jeff, uh, basically I'm asking all my friends, uh, what was your first reaction when you heard that I was gay? No reaction, really. I, don't, I mean, I don't see it as a problem at all, so... I don't know why so many people see it as a problem. It really isn't a problem at all. Awesome. So no, no reaction, really. Cool. All right, Carlos, tell the nation. All right, so when I first heard that Will was gay, I'm not going to lie to you. I thought it was like, I was like, you talked about how you like would listen to heavy metal. I was like, wait, this guy listens to heavy metal and he's gay. I was like, I, I, like at first, you know, I didn't really like see those two going together. But I mean, I learned to like Will. He's a lovable guy. He's a cool ass dude. At the end of the day, I mean, his sexual orientation is his sexual orientation. He's still my man. I still fuck with him as a, as a classmate of mine. He's just cool at the end of the my day. My man. Uh. All right, so when you first heard that I was gay, what was your first reaction? Well, I was like, no, he's not. But, like, you know, sometimes, you know, we, as people, we always have expectations. Like, you expect someone to look a certain way and act a different way, but I was like, oh well, cool, gay makes good girlfriends, like, you know, <laughs> like, they make great friends, so I was like, good for him, like, you know, I have nothing wrong with people being gay, I actually love gay people, so, yeah. It's awesome, great. I love you. <laughs> it was like a confirmation. Really? You, you knew it? I guessed. Okay. I have a reason. It was from our, uh, writing for TV and radio class. Oh, yeah, obviously. Because you, you brought up these things more than often, so. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't assume anything, I just kind of suspected it. True. Kevin, so what was your first reaction when you th heard that I was gay? Freaking awesome. Really? Yeah. Nice. Well, it's just cool. Anything else you want to say? Keep being gay, people. <laughs> awesome. When I first met you, I didn't know that you were gay, but once you told me, I just didn't think anything of it. I was just like, alright. <laughs> cool. Hey. So pretty much most of them, if not all of them, were actually really cool about it. And honestly, I think that's just fantastic because I dream of the day where it shouldn't have to take courage or it shouldn't have to take balls to admit that who you are because honestly, nobody should care about what you do in your personal life or who you love. I mean, it doesn't really even matter. And with that being said, gather around all you boys and girls, bears and cubs and otters and chubs. It's story time. Basically my whole life I knew that I was different from all the other boys in my class. While they were playing Transformers and Power Rangers on the playground during recess, I was playing Royal Family with my girlfriends on the jungle gym. I started to notice something was up with me when I was in middle school. Basically all the other guys were getting girlfriends and getting dates to dances and being more interested in girls and nothing was happening with me. I mean, I honestly thought that I was going to be a late bloomer. Then I think when I was either 11 or 12 years old I got my very first kiss from a boy who lived right down the street from me. And we also did some other things, but no, nothing too serious like that happened. No V cards were lost that day. And in my mind, I was thinking, all right, um, this is fine. I'm just getting this out of my system. And oh my God, why am I getting into this? No, bad will. I finally accepted the fact that I was gay when I was about 15 years old, when I met my first actual gay couple. Their names were Gary and Dan, and they worked with my mom at the hospital, and they seemed like two of the most happiest guys on the face of the planet. At that moment, something inside me told my brain, hey, hi, that's, that's me, I want that, gimme, come on, gimme, gimme, gimme. Then when I turned 18, I was finally ready to come out. I had already come out to many of my friends and coworkers, and generally about 95% of the reactions was all positive. I was ready, I finally summed up all the courage to take the biggest step, tell my parents. Everything was all planned and ready to go, I was gonna sit them down in front of the TV and uh, just tell them straight to their face. And then my parents get separated. I'm really not at liberty to discuss what exactly caused them to separate, but all I can say is my dad fucked up big time and it just destroyed my mom. So at that moment I had to go back in the closet because I knew telling her right then and there would literally kill her. So fast forward a few nights later to a very chilly February night in a metro station parking lot. My mom was picking me up, I was drunk off my ass, and I had claimed to her that I was going to a concert when I had actually gone to a bear happy hour. Which is convenient because the concert was literally right around the corner from where Bear Happy Hour was happening. That night at Happy Hour, I ran into a guy that I previously hooked up with a couple months ago. And we were talking and uh, the topic of coming out came up. And I told him, I'm pretty much out except to my parents. 
and I can't remember exactly what was said because, let's face it, I was white girl wasted. And, uh, but he did eventually give me the confidence and strength I needed to finally step up and come out to my parents. So I stumble off the train around 12.30, 1 o'clock in the morning, and my mom is in the parking lot to pick me up. And here to recreate that fateful night is my mom. So this is the exact spot where I came out that night. And look who's here with me. It's my mom. Hi, guys. So, Mom. Uh, what do you uh, remember from that night, that cold, cold February night? Basically, I remember you coming home, or coming out to the car, I should say, and telling me you needed me to get out of the car, you had something to say to me. And at one o'clock in the morning, I wasn't sure what the heck that was going to be. And you told me, Mom, I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm gay. And what, what was your uh, immediate reaction after that? What happened to the 0.1%? <laughs> no, seriously, I, I thought about it for a minute, and then I thought, well, gee, I kind of thought you had been gay since about seventh grade. Yeah, really? And wonder what took you so long to tell me. So, yeah, that's pretty much how it went down, guys. Uh, was there anything else you want to tell them or and then I went home I got you home went upstairs to bed where your father sat up in bed and said oh you guys are finally back I said yeah and your son's come out of the closet <laughs> and he goes oh that's nice and rolled over and went right back to sleep yep that's basically how it happened my parents were literally had the coolest reaction ever so, uh, thanks so much for being a part of this video today, Mom. No problem. Is there anything you, ha you have to say to the Bears, or anything you want to ask? No. How's it hanging, guys? I can answer that right now, low and to the left. <laughs> so that is my coming out story. I want to thank my amazing Mama so much for being a part of this video. And we've been listening to your feedback, so we're trying to make our videos shorter. So in order for me to do my questions this week, I went ahead and piggybacked off of Aaron's idea from last week, and I decided to make a bonus video. That's floating right here in an invisible box above my hand. Go ahead. Click it. You know you want to. Peer pressure. Don't forget to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash den. And subscribe to the channel, bitches. Tell your friends about us. Join the den. Join the discussion. All those clickables are going to be conveniently located down below in the crotch. That is my time for this week. I will see you next Tuesday. Bye, guys.